Hi, we're checking out how uh, Ed Sheeran shows his guitar and how he won the lawsuit, which I do, my personal opinion, I do think he should have won the lawsuit. But we're gonna check him showing out on his guitar why he won, or at least a factor of why he won. Obviously in a trial, there's lots of things going on. And there are things I could tell you right now, but I don't think I should, I think I should wait. And let's check this out together. I wanna congratulate you on this court case. There is nothing worse in my book as somebody who creates stuff, somebody accusing you of a ripoff. I read in the paper, you I'm still shocked that Howard Stern's voice is like still amazing. Sat down with the jury and I think this accusing you of a ripoff. I read in the paper, you sat down with the jury and I think this is great. And you took out your guitar and you said to the jury, you think I ripped off this song? I'm gonna play you something now and show you how similar things can be. What did you play for that jury? Um, if I was the jury, yeah, what did you say to them? So it was, um... So this is now the time to tell you, if you're still here, is um, I've been playing guitar for about 27 years, 25 years, 27, something like that. I actually went to school for music. I got a master's degree in guitar, and I did uh, business school before that. You can still disagree with whatever I have to say, but I'm not coming from a completely ignorant position. And I am interested to see what he's going to do. So my one is um when your legs don't work like they used to before and then there's have I told you lately that I loved you and then um um people get ready there's a train coming um and then uh what was the looks like we made it look how far we've come my baby and oh she breaks just like a woman I mean there was a, there was a hundred and one songs that. And that was like scratching the surface. There was like he's right. He's so right. Well, obviously he's right. You're hearing him play it. Obviously he's right. I mean, there was a, there was a hundred and one songs that, and that was like scratching the surface. There was like a hundred and one. You know, there's um, uh, I guess you say it's it's really yeah yeah yeah. And what I was saying is like yes, it's a chord sequence that you hear on successful songs. But if you say that a song in 1973 owns this. Then what about all the songs that came before? We found songs like from like the 1700s that had similar uh, melodic stuff. And then there was like huge songs in the 50s and huge songs in the 60s. And it's just no one's saying that songs shouldn't be copyrighted, but you just can't copyright a chord sequence. You just can't. I'm really glad it's over, man. It was like eight years of that. And eight. Oh, I had no clue. It was eight years. Chord sequence. You just can't. I'm really glad it's over, man. It was like eight years of that and eight years. Yeah. And this is my like livelihood. And this is the thing that I've worked my entire life to do and have to have someone like disbelieve it and diminish it and just say that you've stolen it. I really felt like I had to take a stand and, and go to it. And either way you lose because you, you spend God knows what to win the case and then you don't get that back. And if you lose the case, you lose God knows. So either way you're sort of in a, and then there's also the stain on your reputation for the whole of your life, there's always a question mark of the headline of Ed Sheeran stole this or what, that, that, that doesn't go away. So you have to sort of take that risk of like, I'm going to go really public with this, take it to court and hope for the best, basically. But you missed your grandmother's funeral because of yeah. this court case. You no, no, uh, my grand, whatever. Uh, my grandfather just passed away. This, uh, my grandmother's still here. Hey. She's still here. Mother Day, Mother's Day is coming up. Shout out to moms all across the place. But uh, yeah, I couldn't imagine uh, having to miss it for a court case. I take that risk of like, I'm going to go really public with this, take it to court and hope for the best, basically. But you missed your grandmother's funeral because of yeah. this court case. You, yeah. could, could you have said to the judge, hey, by the way, can I have a day to go to my grandmother's funeral? Well, uh, it was in Ireland. That was the only thing. And the thing with it, like I thought the case would end Monday or Tuesday and the funeral was on Wednesday. And then on the Thurs Thursday or the Monday, I can't remember what, their side suddenly randomly called my manager to like, it wasn't in the schedule and they randomly called him and they, they questioned him for what, whatever it was. And that made it spill over. It's uh, it's, it's a shame. I won't get that time back. And she was a no. great woman. Uh, did you get a lot of phone calls from other musicians thanking you for oh, man. standing up? Well, yeah, it was sort of like in the process. You know, Pete, uh, someone like Elton, John Bon Jovi sent me a really li nice message. Taylor congratulated me when I won the case. You know, everyone was saying to me after I said, uh, if I lost, I'd quit. 
uh, songwriting and they were like no you wouldn't and I really honestly think I probably would have done because it would it just takes the joy out of it if you can't sit yep. down and go I I can't use a C chord to a G chord because someone in the 60s used a C chord to a G chord it it it, it just sucks the fun out of it yeah 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 so uh that's obviously brilliant and he's um extremely successful and he won his, his case um a lot of times it's it's um trying to communicate to non-musicians or basic musicians to advanced musicians what's actually going on so a lot of times um we have like uh you know jam sessions live with a live audience and people just come up on stage and play music and like well how do you make all that up it's like well there's a there's a structure right so we can pick a key which is just giving you like a, a foundation of which chords you're going to use. And then you can pick a vibe and a tempo. Like, oh, well, let's do rock or pop or punk or R&B. And everybody, every, like, it's not the world's best musicians. Everybody knows what you mean when you say, let's do R&B or let's do rock. Because there are structures of music that have come down to us over the last when it comes to pop music, the last, um, I guess, 70, maybe 100 years. And it's like, this, that, the structure is not what makes the hit. It's the, it's the lyrics and the melody and the actual person performing them that makes it a hit. So regardless of how you feel about Ed Sheeran, um, he makes good songs and he, he has good lyrics and he performs them at a high level so even though the underlying backing track is extremely similar or damn near identical and the vibe is identical i don't think you would i don't think it's fair to say that he stole it we inherit we inherit the musical constructs that come before us so like i have not inherited any african or uh, middle eastern constructs of music unless they've been represented in the west so like you know i know like rock and roll r&b blues and stuff like that but it's like what do you look it's so set let's let's take a couple i'm gonna make this up off the top of my head which i think hopefully makes it more valuable but if we're doing like blues right we'd be like But if we were gonna like, let's do the same thing, E minor, and let's do R and B. Was it my turn? If I'm doing R and B, still an E minor, it might be. Right? This is the same thing. This is still E. And it's more major. But then the minor. And now I'm changing chords quicker there. Does someone own that that vibe? I don't think so. And you can do the same thing with a, let's say we're gonna play like a folk song in E minor. And I'm making it up. But I'm making it up off of music we've we already know about. If it was if it was heavy metal, it might be. Right? These are all E minor structures using R and B, uh, blues and metal. Or you could do reggae, right? Reggae could be like just like this is the first thing i'm thinking about that tells you like how much it's a nature of what we do that like that uh when you're working with people and you're coming up with something you're coming up with something off of the cuff you're coming up with the top of your dome um 
the actual structure is usually pretty common. That way everyone, the drummer, the bassist, the vocalist, guitarist, if you have string players, keyboard players, they can all zero in on what's going on because they're, they're, they know the form. Like they have an understanding. When I say form, that means structure, right? But if we're, if we're talking um, country, how would I do country with E? Ah, maybe over here, like a... Those are all songs in E, some are major, some are minor, but it's all E stuff. It's very generic and very basic. So like, I just, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that he won. I don't think people should own structure. It would be, it would be as if an architect could say, I own the structure of a three bedroom house with two bathrooms. If you have three bedrooms and two bath, I own that. It's like, no, 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 that's common. We all have access to three bedroom, two bath or two bedroom, one bath or whatever it is how we actually construct the three bedroom, two bath is ours to own, but using the structure is common to the public, the public good. I was gonna say the public domain, but yeah. You know what I mean? You get it? Like people say steak and potatoes. So can someone copyright or trademark steak and potatoes? A lot of people serve steak and potatoes. It's what type of steak do you get? What type of potato do you get? How is it presented? What is the ambiance? What is the place you're going to? What is the wait staff like? Those make that those common characteristics unique. I think that's that's probably about, that's probably about far enough to go with that. Either you dig me or you don't dig me, but I dig you. So I'll see you later.